Hi, I'm Greg Johnson with resourcesforlife.com and this is a brief video about the latest version of VMware uh, which allows you to, actually it's VMware Fusion, allows you to run Windows on an Apple computer. Now the really cool feature that is included with VMware is the ability on the same network to have your Windows computer running and your Apple computer running and then transfer everything, the programs, files, the operating system from the old Apple uh, the old Windows computer to your Apple computer. Word of caution, unfortunately, um, if you are doing your due diligence and updating everything and staying current and you have Lion, Apple's latest OS 10 release, VMware Fusion 4 does not function using this what they call their PC migration tool. So it's kind of a bummer because uh, you know you'll download their software and try to get this thing to work and at no point along the way does it say hey by the way you're running Lion and this just plain doesn't work on Lion. So I thought it was a little bit misleading that was too bad because um, they could have just you know I mean the program you load VMware and it says hey click here to have a lot of fun transferring your data and then you click there and then suddenly you get this cryptic error message and eventually after a lot of research you find out it just doesn't work. So um, anyway, I'm looking forward to the point at which they get that fixed because it looks like a really cool feature. But um, I went ahead and just set up a, a computer using uh, the Windows 7. In this case it was Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, and you know it was kind of a good reminder that running VMware on an Apple is kind of a nice experience because you don't have to fiddle around with a lot of drivers and stuff. Um, it already creates kind of a functional virtual world for you and you know everything's going to work. So anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Hope it was helpful. And if you have any more questions, feel free to email or uh, drop a response here. Thanks. This video was recorded, edited, and produced using iMovie on an iPhone 4. The slides were created using Keynote on the iPhone.